How about now? There we go. All right. Y'all should be getting some words now. You got some words? Stream. Yay, there we go. Uh, no, my um, I think they've changed stuff in Streamlabs yet again. And um, it's, uh, yeah, I think my camera settings are a little bit weird. So like this whole, there's too much screen. And uh, the microphone, like it lost the input for some reason. I don't, I don't know, man. But whatever. Hey, we're here now. So <laughs> that's good. Um, good. All right. So as I was saying before, when I was miming, apparently... We're making some jokes and stuff. Like, things... It was sort of nice. a delightful beginning. You just didn't get to experience it. Dude, those it. jokes were so good, Audrey. No. I Well done. We've never had a funnier intro oh, It's ever. the best intro. Best intro. But it's gone. Streamlabs keeps me on my toes. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, I did plug in the mic. Show us your nails. Audrey, show people your nails. It's purple. And it's purple. Yeah. Show them your toes. I'm, I can't do that. No. <gasps> no. Uh, yes, yeah, so we, uh, many things, like, conspired to make us late today. Like, there were just a lot of errands. Oh, yeah, we were describing what we were doing today, and that's why it's late. Yeah, so, uh, we had a lot of errands to run, and we were in Greensboro, which is, like, half an hour away, and then there were, like, appointments of various kinds we were doing, and, oh. Nose says hello. Nose is, nose is all up on the desk here. He really just bounced up into my business here. Um, tails. So... Oh, Jesse says she has the exact same color. Crazy. Well, this one is not out yet, so it's not the exact <laughs> same one. So, but a very purple. close, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, same. we've been uh, we've been running. She seen me banging your phone trying to get it to work. Oh, it was not you. That was uh, this was all on this is all on my end. But it's one of those things you can't really test until you go live, which is but, always super fun. I'm glad they designed it that nose. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute right now. You guys he's, are missing it, but Nose is being very cute. He's being cute, except for the part where he wants to sit on my desk well, yeah, and on my loves, keyboard. He loves, he has to have his pig in the fair. He does. He definitely, he, he's one. His pig is all up in that fair. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Um, so we did that. Uh, Audrey has a nice haircut now. She can't really a, tell, but it's one yeah. of those things I'm growing it out. Yep, she's growing out her hair, so we had a haircut, and... Then we had to, like, go and d drop stuff off in Graham. It was, it's been a whole thing. So, anyway, we've been driving around, and so I'm, like, an hour late. And then I come here, and uh, my microphone doesn't work. We had work. delicious lunch, though. We did have a really good lunch at this place called Gassan's yep. in uh, Greensboro. It's a uh, Mediterranean joint. We had, uh, Audrey had... Uh, falafel pita. I love my falafel. Falafel pita. And uh, I had a... Shwarma. Chicken shawarma pita, and it was very good. Aaron's done, been run. They have been run. True. What's died? See, oh, sh you're gonna see Mike's toes? Uh, yeah, let's see your toes. You don't Mike. really want me to put my toes on the internet, but uh, yeah, no, we got uh, we got pedicures this morning. Our feet are all fancy, so that's fun. What's uh, Jesse? It's gonna be very are? fun. I have. Um, oh, there you, it, it, it looks I, from there. It does look very that's, similar. It's yeah, true. looks. Yeah, you got a dupe for yeah. sure. For show. <laughs> Alexander uh, Kramer just noticed what my um, my YouTube channel name is. Uh, let's see, will it come up? It won't for some reason. I don't actually understand why that won't pop up. Um, here, he drew an illustration. Nose, come on, man. <laughs> Every time I try to click, he headbutts my finger. Uh, <laughs> if you've never noticed, my channel description is not just uh, youtube.com slash Michael Madison. It's also slash my darn snake legs because that is my old account name. And uh, very old. That's well before yeah. I knew you even. And I can't change it. And actually, that illustration is not that far off mm, from yeah. um, oh, isn't uh, it? from where it came from. So my darn snake legs is my name on like uh, PlayStation and Xbox and all that kind of stuff, too. And uh, it's actually named after this piece of graffiti that I would drive by all the time, which was relevantly similar to this, except it was just a guy who was holding up a sign, and he had the wiggly snake, well, wiggly legs, they didn't have snake faces, but he was holding up a sign that said, my darn snake legs, and I always thought it was hilarious. But it was also before the time of digital cameras, and so I never got a picture of it. Uh, yeah. Because I'm old. So, uh, anyway, so there we go. Seems darker than Dallas. What's darker than Dallas, Valerie? What are you talking about? Let's see Mike's toes. Is it dyed? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, afternoon, Mike. Any additional word on the new 3776 Platinum? 
Nope. I have no inroads to 3776 or to Platinum as a brand. Uh, I find out stuff probably after y'all. Oh, oh, she's talking about your hair. Uh, no. No, it's just that color. It's just, oh, uh, my just hair, that brown. No, and don't be trying to tell me. Jim would always tell me, oh, look, Audrey, you have a gray hair. I do not have a gray hair. My hair is shiny. And he would always say that when we were outside in the sun that I had a gray hair. I've never found a gray hair. I would admit if I do, but... I do not. It's just no. shiny. Yeah. Um, I don't have any gray hairs either. Um, uh, you have them all throughout your beard. Mm -hmm. I try makes and, me look distinguished. I try oh, to, this is... This is great. Try this. It's raspberry lime. Well, it says... I, you gave that face, that means I'm going to love it. You're going to love it. Is you it might worse like than it. LaCroix? Uh, no, no, no. It tastes a little bit more limey, so you might actually like it. I really like this. Really? Yeah. Well, that's for you. Well, I have two drinks already, well, so. you're drinking. I actually really like that. All yeah. the other ones are... Eh. This one's too bitter for me, or too, uh, too sour. It's sort of... It has more of a flavor, so sometimes yeah. it's just like water with the this tiniest... Is, this is one that uh, my friend Sandra, the cupcake girl, gave me. She got a bunch of these, uh, like, mostly raspberry-flavored sparkling waters and things, so she gave me a couple of those, and... Uh, yeah, this one is a little too tart. A little too tart for I me. Get it. Yeah. I like that. You do not like the regular lime spindrift. Uh, oh, Brian, she's trying to save stuff. No, we just cut them off. Cut them off. His wife loves it. Yeah, fair enough. I've never even heard of spindrift. This no, is the first time I've ever seen it. So uh, It's okay. I think a regular raspberry would have been very good. The lime was a little too much lime. Uh, Luxury Brands is not even hinting about the new 3776. Yeah, they wouldn't tell me about it. Um, there is something new coming from Platinum, and I don't know what it is, um, but they told me it was. It was on my live stream last week, um, like y'all saw. Um, but yeah, they wouldn't tell me what it was. Uh, to be fair, I don't think they're allowed to. That's one of those things that... Uh, That's me being fair. ...that brands get... <laughs> wow, Mr. Nose is really picking his way among all the junk that I have over there. There's a lot of crap over here. I was just complaining to Audrey that I need a solid week to just clean my office, because I have been just running... Let's give you an extra week, and you can just do the rest of the house, too. Dope. Give me two weeks. Two weeks, you say? <laughs> no, Claire says, if you want Brian silenced, Audrey, I'm more than happy, more than willing to oblige. <laughs> uh, I just stopped by my uh, no. my P.O. box. Will you stop him from he doing that? He loves bag. He's going to drool all over the stuff that's in the bag, though, and you won't love that. Um, we just went to the, there's a nose, to the P.O. box. Thanks, Claire. Just got a letter from you. So that's fun. I haven't read it or anything, but it was there. Uh, so thanks. Oh, my. What? A lot of cat fur? A lot of nose fur all yep. over me. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Nose is, uh, definitely, that's, 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 a, that's just cat fur. Yeah. See, that's my finger. Cat fur. Yeah. He's decided that's where he sits now. So that's where Nose, that's where Nose sits now. Um, so anyway, the title of this, uh, particular episode it's is. It's not actual yet. <laughs> we have not done any of that. No, who cares? It's only been 14 minutes and most of that was figuring most out how to make sound. Most of it go, by the way, we don't have sound. Uh, so. Um, hi nose. Here, I'll rub your belly. This is this cat is rub, asking for belly rubs. Um, so uh, we were at the Dallas Pin Show last week, as you'll remember if you watched that thing. Hey Scott, what's up? We are gonna start now-ish, Scott. So good timing. Yep. And uh, neither of us really like bought anything at Dallas. No, it was super busy. Yeah, it was real busy. Saturday wasn't as bad, no, but uh, really. it was still pretty pretty busy friday though i think i, I left the mm -hmm. table for the live stream yeah. uh and then right really back. the only way that worked out is because kimberly came and covered the table for me for a bit we needed that extra person. yeah definitely needed the extra person it was uh danae and i taking orders and selling pens and audrey and mandy doing nibs just all day long uh aside from that well, i have memories it's a woman's job just having women do nibs i know, you know? yeah women's work and uh, so i uh I think I escaped for like 10 minutes at the very end of the show did, on yeah. Friday. You did some from on Saturday, too. Uh, yeah, my mom and my sister got to come up on Saturday, so that's that's the time of year I see my family, because they live in Houston, and so they came up to Dallas, so that's cool. They should buy things from me. Oh, you know what, Valerie? I did buy things from you. I'm glad you reminded me, because I have one of them sitting here. Uh, the other one I don't actually have, because I gave it to my mom for her birthday. And the other thing, I think I packed it up and I still have it packed. What other thing? My, the necklace that you got me? Oh yeah, that's right, that too. 
Um, so Valerie here makes really nice uh, notebooks and such, and also some really, really bomb pen rests. Like, Audrey and I have been making some pen rests. By the way, there's new pen rests up on my inkyd.com yeah, site new here. Ones. New ones, the old ones are on sale. Um, but this one is one of Valerie's. <laughs> no, and uh, it's done in like, it's very durable. Um, but she's done like multiple layers and like this awesome texture and stamping on the back. And this like cool sheet thing here that goes over the top in polymer clay. And there's like 3D printing involved. And there's a uh, an NFC chip in here. So when you tap it with your phone, it takes you to the Fountain Pen Companion Ink listing site. Uh, it's too cool not to get. So uh, uh, Valerie, if you have a, a link, like if you have those on uh, Etsy or something or whatever, put a link up in the chat so people can find you. Or just send it to me in Slack or something, and I'll uh, I'll post it in the show notes. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, ban Tony for a little while, just a ten minute timeout. <laughs> Do I'm doing never if he's going downhill. <laughs> Didn't know about the clip, uh, the chip. Yeah, it is really boss. That's uh, let's see, let's see if I can do it. It actually took us a while to figure out how to do it, um, but like you sort of tap this thing. There's a place in here. It's tricky on iPhones. There it is. It brings this guy up, and you just tap this little deal here, and it takes you to FPC, which I can't remember how to log into because I forgot my password. Oh wait, let's see. Will this work? No, that won't work. No, that won't work. Uh, I gotta like redo my password because I don't remember what it is. New phones, man. New phones. New phones. That's what it is. So anyway, it is real clever, yeah, and it looks rad. So <gasps> well, so Tony was uh, put in timeout for. Oh, three... <laughs> you timed him out for three hundred seconds. Aww. We just lost a subscriber right there. <laughs> womp womp, <laughs> the future. Yeah, the future is now. So the deal with that FPC, FPC thing. As uh, she was telling me, like, the idea is that you can put pins on here, and then when you, like, change inks or whatever, you can just, like, tap your phone on it and update your currently inked. Yep. So that's kind of fun. Um, anyway, so that's that. So, yeah, we were real busy on uh, in Dallas. Like, I'm still recovering. I still feel kind of... Yeah. It was a busy week, too, just this week. So no recovering. Yeah. Um, Scott from FC is at Tokyo. The Tokyo show's probably going now. I don't actually know for sure, but it's Saturday, Sunday, and it's probably Saturday there. Oh, why'd I drink that? Do you want me to get you a bubbly? Um, I'll go grab one. You go ahead. Well, tell I don't have anything to talk about. You were just telling stuff to you. Thanks. I'll be right back. Oh, anyway, yeah, he's in Tokyo. So if you're in Tokyo, go to the show. Maybe you can get a FC pen. Or, I mean, I'm hoping he gets the Sailor um, Bung Box collaborative that something Alice in Wonderland one or whatever. Beautiful. I hope he gets one for me. When's he going to get your pen made? Jesse, you know I have no idea what's going on on the other side. It's you got to go to Scott and ask him about that because I know about nibs and I know about nibs. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Two different sides of the house just, there. Just, yeah, exactly. Just send him another email and just Keep on asking until it gets made. It's my suggestion. It's the drink version of Birdie Bots. No, it's not that bad. It just it's very it's very lime, and I'm not a I'm not a limer. Um, Shelly Grady's going to Tokyo. Yeah, it's super cool that he's in Tokyo. I hope that maybe he sends you next time. That'd be dope. I would love to go. Uh, yeah, I think you should. Dallas is awesome. It's your first medium sig from you, and it's beyond amazing. Aww, says awesome. Says Usada thirteen. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Dallas is a weird show for lots of reasons. It's the only, well, one of the main two-day shows. But the social scene is very different in that. <laughs> nice. Love you too, Tony. It will be, the 300 seconds will be over before you know it. <laughs> yeah, too soon, some might say. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The social scene isn't... People don't talk about it as much as the other shows. Like San Francisco. Everybody talks about going to San Francisco. People don't talk about going to Dallas, but it's a really well-run show. It's really well-attended and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things that I don't know why people don't talk about it. Well, the thing is, like, it doesn't have a big showing of the internet community. Yeah. So, it's like, just that, yeah. Yeah, the bloggers and stuff don't tend to go to that one for some reason. I think it's probably mostly fatigue. Um, cause a lot of the, the internet close to San Francisco and DC and yeah, 
Dallas or D- uh, Denver. The other and, one. Yeah, and Denver. It's sort and of stuck Ohio, in the middle. And yeah, well, it's, it's, Ohio's a little bit longer or farther, but yeah. Really wanted to go to Dallas once finances allow you. You're there. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, like it's a fun show. The weird thing about that show is that. Um, like there's no real after party for that show, well, so you Friday, have. Well, Friday you can't. I mean, it's by the time you're done with the, it ends at eight, and it ends at eight. It's not a oh they say it's eight o'clock and it's really six o'clock. No, it goes until eight, and so you're busy working until eight. And by the time you go and wash your hand, you know it's late. You know. Yeah, like you just want to get some dinner because you probably yeah. really haven't eaten, yeah. and uh, then you just want to go to bed because you've been working since like eight a.m. So, it's an eleven or twelve hour day. Really? Um, and so there's, I mean, there's some people hanging out at the bar as usual, but yeah. most people go to bed pretty pretty quick, so yeah. it's not, you know, it's not a late show or anything like that. And then Saturday, a lot of people just leave. So yeah. it's, yeah, it's a weird show that way, but it's got everything you'd want from a pin yeah. show otherwise. Yeah, that's a um, good show. Yeah, it's just so not as So if you've never gone, go to Dallas. People won't talk about it, but it's a good show. Yeah. Good show. All right, so uh, the fact that we didn't actually buy anything at the show doesn't mean we don't have stuff. Well, of course. So we have some yeah. stuff. Hey, Netters, what's up? So, yeah, no, we definitely have some stuff. Um, I have a few things that I was given for review and whatnot. I have random things because that's how I roll. Because we hit the Kino Cunha and the uh, Daiso uh, after, after the show on Saturday. Mike didn't want to go to Daiso. I didn't want to go at all. And I told his mom and sister that Mike didn't want to go, and I did. But if they didn't want to go, that's fine. It's just been a tradition for years we've been going. But if they don't want to go, that's fine. And your mom and sister were like, are you serious? I We want to go. We have to go. And so I'm like, good. I'm glad it's not just me. But yeah, hello, no, Katie. It's just, well, by the time we got to Daiso, I was just, like, crawling. I was, like, sitting on the floor. Your when feet, I had- his feet, yeah. I was... After like, a, what, 11, 12-hour day on Friday? I get it. Well, no, we went Saturday, so then it was and another, then was like, Saturday, 10 yeah. hours or whatever, so... Well, it wasn't as long. It but. was, uh... Yeah, my feet and my legs are just killing me. You have insoles. It's fine. I know. It's the only reason I wasn't I know, actually were, crippled. Yeah, <laughs> so, they did help. Last year, I'm pretty sure Dallas crippled me for a, most of the year. Like I thought you said it was also San Francisco. Like, the combo of the two. It's maybe, sort of, but Dallas was last. Yeah. So, I don't know. And San Francisco didn't kill me this year, so I don't know. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good. Uh, need a fund to buy a gimbal for your phone. So do you have video gimbal know there. Well, D, if you want to try uh, and do it yourself, you can. Um, I do actually. Ugh, I do have a gimbal. Uh, I got this. It literally came in the mail the day before the show. Uh, here it is, and uh, I have not had a chance to figure out how to use it. Um, the. Uh, <laughs> The trick with these is that they are way heavier than what I currently use. So if you've ever, if you haven't tried holding a thing out in front of you like this for a solid hour, it's gonna be. Um, and it's not light. It is not. It's not super light. No, it weighs way more than just my phone does. So. Oh, scraggles. There she is. <laughs> She's just barking at a cat. Yep. There's a tail back there. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I'll, um, Okay, she's gonna go play some more. <laughs> I make those as smooth as I can, but that's just kind of the way it goes. There's more. There she is. That's, that's how she that's plays how with play. that cat. That poor cat. <laughs> yep. They're both laying down just making noises at each yep. other. That's, that's what's going Sometimes on. Sometimes Katie goes... Yeah, when Katie gets tired of it, she'll smack Scraggles, and Scraggles will squeal and run away. Because she's really a little wuss. Yeah. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, at the show, uh, I got, well, one thing I got is a bunch of samples. Right, that's, I forgot about that. From uh, my friend Kat Axon, who is on the Leaky Nib podcast. Yep. If you don't know that, check that out. Hey, Sandra, we were just talking about yeah. you and your, uh, your Spindrift sparkling water. I don't like it, but Audrey loves it, apparently, so um, that's a winner for her. Uh, so she gave me a whole bunch of samples. What do we got here? Three, six, uh, twelve, <laughs> like 12 samples, yeah. yeah. Uh, and most of these are uh, uh, Sailor Studio inks, so I have a whole bunch of those uh, to check out. I've swatched them, actually, so 
Um, if we can, oh, and also this, mm -hmm. this is, uh, something that, yeah, right. This you is, can use it now. I can use it now, kind of. Let me grab a sample vial. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, a guy came up and actually I didn't catch his name. Uh, and he said, Hey Mike, do you ever like, if you're like me, I know you spill sample vials and stuff. And I'm like, I actually don't, but you know, I mean, it's, it's been what close. Is, what about, what about this situation? Well, here? that's not a sample vial. Okay. I'm I, just saying right here. It shows. Know, I actually forget what that was, but <laughs> I've never actually spilled a sample, even though this cat has tried to help me yeah. recently. Um, so he made this, this is actually made out of polymer clay and it looks like a little, like a, a chocolate yeah. frosted donut. It's pretty cool. I dig it. And, uh, you put a sample vial in it like this. And it holds your sample vial up so it doesn't fall over. Nice. Um, so I got a couple of things from Lisa Van Ness. Uh, mm, donut indeed. Yep. Uh, and she gave me before... Uh, where'd it go? I don't know where that thing is. I uh, put it aside. Uh, anyway, it's these guys, which are... Whoa, too much glare. There we go. This is the Midori F-size uh, cotton notebooks. She gave me the F-0 already, and she wanted me to have all three so I can do like a comparison sort of thing. They actually don't fit in the camera because these are actually kind of bigger. Um, and this is the F-2, and then this one is the F-3. And, um, and the F series is only Midori. That's yeah. their own one. Okay. Yeah, Just right. Just making sure. As know. far as I know, it's only Midori. Yeah. So I've got F0, 2, and 3. I don't think there's an F1, oddly enough. Thanks, Nose. Yep. Good job. Um, so I've got these to check out. And these are actually, this is a, this is quite a big notebook. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. There you go. I'll put a lady this is a real. Here. This is a real hand right a, here. A real hand? Mine's yeah. a real hand. It's just See, look. But look at, come on. You're bigger. like covering my whole thing up. <laughs> just look. I got, I got big old hands. But uh, this is, this is as you see. Mitts. Is what they call. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that, but yep. So you need clay sample donut and an edible one. I mean, don't mix them up is the thing. Yeah. So regular MD is staying the real sizes. Yeah, right. So um, if you get the um, the regular MD stuff, not the cotton, then you can get them in the regular A and B sizes, which are nice and convenient. Um, don't have a website yet. If you want to contact you, oh, okay, cool. Um, I will. I'll grab that information there, Valerie. Uh, let's see. Ah. Okay, cool. I will put Valerie's information there about um, journal journals and that kind of thing. So these are the, the F and the F0. They're 24 and 28 bucks, uh, respectively. And they're pretty good size. So, like, I need an A5 thing. Well, here's something everybody's got, probably. This is your regular old, like, Rhodia pad. What size is this? So number 16, 16, this is, a, oh, cool, this is A5. So this is A5 compared to F2 and F3. So it's actually, it's pretty darn big. And then F0 is like, I don't know, about this tall, I think. I wish I could put my hands on it. It's around here somewhere. But this place is a, just a mess right now. So anyway, I'll have those to play with and check out. I really like the cotton paper. I think it feels really nice. Um, just in time for the Midori F size shenanigans. Hey, Anna, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, this is actually, it is kind of shenanigans because, um, nobody makes covers in these sizes. F0 is close to A6. I mean, it makes sense though. They, 19. if everyone's sort of knocking off or making their own versions of it, then it's, why not make yeah. their own then? So they don't have that problem. It's kind of close to A4 actually. So this is an A4 Rodia. It's Next, a little taller yeah, or just, less... A little shorter than that one. Yeah, a little shorter. Well, it's only about this big, actually. Is the that's true the with the yeah the binding. So yeah, it's a little shorter yeah. than A six. It's it's weird, but uh, wait, A six? That can't be right. Number nineteen. A six is small. Oh, A four. A four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did I say? Yeah. Anyway, A four. Um, I wasn't listening to that part. Sorry. I get it. So, oh, this, the smallest F size is F zero, and that's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of square. Eventually, I'll find it. For the review, I will have that one. I, I know I put it somewhere because I was using it, but what are you going to do? Um, anyway, so yeah, I've got those. Yeah, there's a lot of notebooks I can't help. <laughs> so they can sell you their own overpriced covers? Yeah. That's yeah, why they, they do. I mean, look, if you don't like the price, then you just don't buy it. But, yeah, if everyone's taking their versions of it and using... And I get it. I get why people aren't happy, but I get why they're doing it, too. 
Yeah, um, on the packaging it says something like these are the right size for um the right size the right size like the preferable size for uh, sketchers and that kind of thing and these are blank so like all right i kind of buy it i guess but they are selling some real expensive like bags and covers and other weird mm -hmm. stuff like that so i don't know that seems like kind of a have you ordered from jet pens yet have i ordered from jet pens yeah. yet you mean like planners and stuff? Yeah. Nope. Oh, I'm shocked. I got to put in a planner order. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to decide what planner to get. Let me pull up my jet pens. Oh, right yeah, there quick. was a couple that you were considering. You should just get both of those so you can compare oh, they're so them. so expensive, though. Patreon money, right? It's because these people want the goods so they can well, know what to buy. <laughs> then they're putting their money towards it. They want to That's get true. what, you know. So, That's yeah. true. So... Uh, yeah, we'll come back and look at that in a sec. So let me uh, go back to the desk cam right quick. I'll Sorry, show you. I, I, I got us off track again. Derailing. Like always. Derailing. All right. So I have this whole oh, stack yeah. of coloring cards. Yep. Um, and these are, I, I calibrated this so it's kind of close, this camera. Oh, it's still kind of crap at color. This is a Sailor 162 from Cat. Dusty Blue. It's a Venta. It's a Troublemaker, a Troublemaker. Sailor 150. Which is uh, actually a fairly nice, uh, like... Purple. Blue-violet looking color. Like, it's got blue streaks in it a bit. Mm, yeah. uh, we've got this. Uh, it's Venta. It's Venta. She got me some Ventas, too, by the way. Uh, that's another thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Sailor 460, which looks like a very nice green. It's a nice vibe. It's much more vibrant than what is yeah. showing there for us. It's way more vibrant in person. Yeah. Uh, this is Sailor 173. Whoa, that is... That's way off, so it's much is, more... Peach. Salmon, or oh, peachy salmon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's so weird. I don't understand. It's not anywhere near as red. No. That's why I don't use this camera for videos. Uh, let's see. There's uh, Sailor 237. It's less, it's, it's more pink than purple. Yeah. That seems true. Let's see, maybe it's just light. No. no it's not really. Uh, just this trying actually, to describe it in person. This actually reminds me of an ink that I have. Um, Diamine's handle i want to say looks like this one of those music ones and then this one that's <laughs> sheen Oof. yeah tons of sheen on this actually oh there it there is it yeah is. there we go tons of sheen this is much more pink in person this is sailor 731 yep. definitely pink um, eventually i'll get through these in on the blog but it's not gonna be today and 435 <laughs> which is not actually purple it's yeah. bright purple um, Sandra gave me a few as well. This is Zodiac. Oh, wait, did we talk about these? I think I already showed these. I think. Anyway, I've got some from Sandra as well, the cupcake girl here. Um, this is, uh, Zodiac Aries. That's not um, too far off. That's yeah. not too far off either. This is Robert Oster's, uh, Astrakiza Olive, which is a very nice looking color. This one, uh, I, I've never heard of eye paper. That's not too far off. It's more not, it's more bright pink in person. Yeah, it's more bright pink, yeah. But that is, it's got like a silver sheen to it. That looks real cool in person. That's a weirdo one, too. This is Sailor 123, which everybody's yeah. probably familiar with. It's much more complex in person. Yeah. And then this one's actually really close. Like, so much so that I'm not 100% sure I didn't swatch the same ink, or uh, bottle the same ink twice. This one is has more brighter pink in it than this one this has like a green that sheen. that has the green and sheen one, that it's not translating yeah the green sheen on, on that one like this one doesn't really have a green sheen it's yeah. got like a dark blue sheen or something anyway this is eye paper yeah. and this is the sailor one two three um this one i just wrote purple rose because that's what was on the box and i couldn't read any of it at all yeah is there a way to get robert oster astakiza olive you're gonna have to ask sandra about that she gave me a sample that's yeah. i've never really seen it so i don't know isn't it at Bauer Inks? I have no idea. I don't, I'm not familiar with Bauer Inks, actually. Um, and then I've got a couple of uh, Ventas here from Cat as well. This is Venta Mas Mascara with a K, mm, which is, close. that's not even yeah, close. No. It's more like a violet. Uh, this is Venta Circana. Those are very that's, light, too. That's pretty close, that's actually. It's fairly close, yeah. It's like a silver green brown. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I dig it. I don't know what it looked like actually with writing though. Me it's very either. light. I haven't had a, tr a chance to do the titles on these, so uh, this is Trouble Troublemaker's Abalone, which is about like that, but more complex in person. Yeah. 
And then Milky Ocean, which is kind of interesting. It's like a blue purple. It comes out cerulean on the screen here. Wow, that's very awesome. Yeah, well, that's not even not even any point to show anymore because they're not even close. Oh, well, you sadly. can show it on the one up in front. That's a little closer. Annoying. Maybe I should switch these cameras. Maybe that would. I don't know. Oh, they would help. What was the one that was not even close? It was uh, well, Milky Ocean for one. Yeah. That's coming out cerulean there too. It's just not picking up the purpley bits. Yeah. Interesting. Cameras are weird, man. Especially these kind of things. Uh, and then... That's mascara. Yeah, it's not really... It's not picking it up. I think these cameras just don't have the color range for it. They look better with your human eyes, so... They do. There are piles of Sailor Studio inks. Do you think there are so many There are just too many? Uh, I think so. But they're all... Um, like, they're arranged in a system. Yeah. Mike, you can reach it. There we go. Uh, they're arranged in a system so that as you um, change the first number of like one, two, yeah. three, two, two, three, three, two, three, or whatever up to nine, it gets more saturated as you go. So like one, two, three is the least saturated version of that ink. I like that. I like the science behind that and knowing what you're going to get. That's good. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool system. Yeah. Um, so are there too many? Like, I don't know. There really aren't. I mean, I don't know how many there are in each line. Like, there's yeah, not a hundred sure or whatever. Are, yeah. But so you really only have the ones that are across um, yeah. a band of hundreds, and the rest yeah. of them are just variations just on that. that. Yeah. I think the ink market is oversaturated. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Serena, aka Mermaid, huh? Interesting. Comes from Canada, the Astrakiza olive. Interesting. And with the purple rose is eternal love. Well, I gotta write that down, or I'm gonna forget it forever. Eternal love. Get out my one pencil. Eternal love. Cool. I don't think they should be banned for that comment. I, I, Mike especially will appreciate that. So yeah, no, no, I like it. Yeah. I approve. That one gets in. People don't seem to like the number system K W Z, like the blue one, blue two, etc. Yeah, I've heard that's true. Um, but maybe that's just because it's not particularly descriptive or something. But, um, man, I, I'm kind of glad that Sailor didn't try to come up with a name for all however many inks yeah. are in the studio system. But yeah. I don't know. Also, they're barely available, the studio inks. They're real hard to get. It's a big pain. And they make it a pain on purpose, it seems. Yeah. So, um, And then I got two in bottles at the show. And I don't know what I'd do with the bottles. What did I? How did, here we go. This one is uh, Papier Plume, the Blues. Uh, they had this a couple of bottles of this anyway at the show to show off. Uh, this is the one's be coming out with their uh, their pen that they're doing soon. It's a limited edition pen, and uh, you can, then you'll probably be able to get the bottle afterwards. But it's gonna be a pretty limited edition, so um, I'll try to I'll try to get this one done soon. But I only just got the bottle, so we'll see how it goes. And the other one is Vanessa's Good Evening. Which is, come on, you just did it, which is kind of supposed to be close to uh, Mont Blanc Hitchcock. It's not going to focus, stupid thing. Forgot to bring me a sharpener. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, somebody asked me if I'd use those, um, those Blackwing pencils yet, Anna, and I said no, she, Anna threatened my life if I used a, like an electric pencil sharpener on them, so. You got a bottle of that? I got a bottle, oh, here, here's the bottle, found that one, good. Uh, this is Good Evening. And I think it's a very cool, uh, cool graphic. That is, of course, uh, Joey Feldman's work. Yeah. There. Yeah. You have all three of the Lisa Joey inks. See, I didn't find out there was a black one until after the show. Somebody's like, oh, did you get both of them? I'm like, no, I only got the one. I actually didn't even get to, uh... I didn't really go to the Van S table. Just, she handed they me those... They were right next to us, too. They were right next to us, and I never had a chance to look at them. Um... But uh, somebody said, oh, they've got a red. And I'm like, ask them if they'll set one aside for me. And so they did. So there's that. Um, oh, one last thing I got at the show. Uh, last thing? I have a question that's an ink question. So, Is that okay now? Yeah. Have a good time? Sure. I'm going to order from Colt Pens. And I want to know what inks should I get that are Colt Pens. They're cheaper there, dye mine, whatnot. What can I get there that's cheaper that I should that's under two kilograms? 
And what do you have already is the other thing. What, from cult pens? Yeah. Nothing. No, you have like the deep orange you said. Oh, I have deep you dark have... orange. That's the only one I have. You don't have any of the other ones? No. I have little samples of some of the, some of the others, but... Yeah, orange is good. I got a bottle of that. <laughs> it's black. Yep. There. Yeah, I would get the little bottles too, because I don't... I mean, come on now. I don't need that much. Yeah, I've used Robert before. I thought we had samples of Robert and Maureen. I don't... I didn't use Maureen. I know I hmm. had a... I used it in a pen, Robert, but I don't know about Maureen. Well, you've got two votes for Deep Dark Purple. Well, you hate purple, so then you Doesn't won't matter. use it, so I'm not... I'm sort of dubious on doing that. Christine and So Phillip. basically all the four <laughs> of the... Just get all the ones with names. The shimmer, or the uh, sheen ones. If you have purple rain, skip Philip. I don't have purple rain, so. Dafferman didn't like deep dark purple. Tisk tisk. How many bottles does everyone go through in a year? <laughs> zero is how many I go through in a year. Um, yeah, zero. Nail polish. I go through lots of nail polishes in a year, though. Top coat and base coat count, so I go through no. lots of them. Yeah, all right. Top coat and base coat. Base coat. Uh, Sandra said she thought you gave me samples of Robert and Marine at Pen Club. I'm not sure. I think you gave me one and Audrey's, like, pen My pal pen pal gave me sent Robert. Sent the other. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Cult pens aren't very popular. Small and knowledgeable independent pen sellers in the UK. I don't know. Why is that? I saw all the Gibson guitar colors. Yeah, I saw a couple of those. Yeah. Do inks ever go bad? Not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, not from mere age. Yeah. Um, if they get contaminated and stuff grows in them, which can happen, it's not super common, but it can happen, um, then, yeah, they go bad, but that's it, is the, the mold, basically. I'm curious if they're not very popular. Is it, like, because they're just really popular? Like, is it the goulet <laughs> of the UK or something, and then they're just really big and... Like, that's the one I mainly know is the, you know, the cult pens. But I know that there are other ones, of course, in the UK, but hmm. they're the ones that have, like, limited editions with brands and stuff, and that's why I'd be more He's apt telling to get you. one. It says, cult pens are seen as being a corporation with the way they work, using, uh, using muscle to get the, get the prices down. Hmm. I mean, that sounds like a lot of yeah. well, the bigger brands, yeah. They undercut the market without good knowledge. Interesting. They're the largest UK online shop. Hmm. I've never ordered I mean, anything from them. I, I, so I, 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 I've not, I don't know. They were recently bought by the UK version of Staples. Huh. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is interesting. interesting. Mm. Yeah. Random, you're a little, you're a little cool on the Shone Pocket 6 and you reviewed a little while back. Has it grown on you? I really like the Pocket wow, 6. they got that out? Yeah, I, I didn't feel like wrong. I was cool on it at all. It's right here. I carry I my pocket a lot. Here. Mine's yeah. in my case as well. No, I really like the Pocket 6. I think it's great. Ooh, there's mine. Yeah, no, these are these are really good little pens. I'm a fan. So, I forget what mine's called, but yours is water. Is that no, I don't know. Something? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know if yours has a name. I thought they, I thought it did, or maybe he sold out of those. I'm not yeah, he sure. sold out of them, so they never went online. Sooner oh, saw a name. No. But yeah, it might be like water or some. No, no, I really like these. Really good. Oh yeah, I really like mine too. Um. So yeah, I would say. I would say get one. They are great. There should be another batch of them, I think, late October, October he said, right? Yeah, he's in Tokyo as well. Uh, if you love fountain pens, buy from smaller Yeah, UK unicorns. Mm. That's what I thought it was, unicorn. Mm. Like that, yeah. We deal with cult pens, customer service, and the person you dealt with the fountain pen knowledge. Well, all right. Cool. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, over here, it's hard to figure out which UK companies are the big ones or the small ones, like... Yeah. They all kind of look the same online, and none of them are local to us, so I have no idea. Yeah. But like I said, I never, I never, I've only ever bought from one overseas pen company, or. I have like, a few times, yeah. but yeah. Just the one. If it's, it's any it. overseas anything, I'm in charge of that. So. Yeah, I'm. Uh, frankly, I, I don't. They're, I all, they're all small to us. Korea. Oh, that's probably true. Hmm. Yeah. You just got a package from Korea? Yep, oh, your sunscreen? sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I never ordered from anywhere Korean else. sunscreen. You, everyone should be wearing sunscreen. I don't care who you are. If you're out in the sun at all, if you see the sun, wear sunscreen every day. Korean sunscreens or just Asian sunscreens are so much better than what we have in the U.S. Look into it. It will change your life. Just It'll change your life. It will. You Whatever you know about sunscreens for your face, it's so much better. You guys, you're overseas. Well, like we're overseas from somebody. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. yeah, everybody's overseas from somebody. That's true. 
Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, sun in Scotland. <laughs> Mallory's like, that's not a problem in Scotland. <laughs> sun goes through the clouds too. Got to, you know. It's true. There is, there is that. And get the egg foam cleaner. Egg for yes, the egg yes. It's eleven dollars. It'll last you forever. It cleanses so well. Smells good. The rich foam. I'm telling you, it's on Ulta if you're in the U.S. I don't know about other places. Sorry. Google it. It's probably on Amazon for all I know. I don't know. What else? What else you want to say about, about okay, skincare? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you, Asian sunscreens. It's important. Skincare is important. Got got anything else? <laughs> I I really wish I cared about skincare at all. I he just, wants to uh, look older and he doesn't care. Yeah, I, I like just, to look as you know. I like to be fresh faced. Like she's like here, put acid on your face. I'm like, no. I'm not gonna. No, so I, do not use physical exfoliator. Don't tell me you're using St. Ives apricot scrub. It's scrub. It's so terrible for your face. Chemical exfoliators only. I don't. Snail mucin. Oh, Audrey's got some of that. Snail so mucin gross. is good as well. Yep. Yeah, drop us a link to now, Korean sunscreen. Now, of course, it's Becky. Sunscreen. She knows what's up. Yep. I don't, I don't know what, how to drop you a link to Korean sunscreen, man. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't, I don't know. No, it's fine. Well, you've already I, brought it. Like, now we have to do it. It is. Now we got to change people's lives, I guess. It's so good. So there's a couple places you can go. Hold on. That have it. Um, Let me come. All right. How do I spell this nonsense? One is Soko Glam. Yep. Yep. It's that first one. Oh, they have boy. great customer service. If something doesn't work for you, I think it's a 60 or 90 day return policy the one time i didn't like something i told them and i wanted to return it they said keep it give it to your friend and they refunded me immediately um but they have different sunscreens sometimes they're out of stock of them and the other one is oh l o l l y yep that's it i'm <laughs> sorry that, those letters don't go together. Yeah. So that's another place I've ordered from. Um, yeah. All right. There you go. Not a sponsor. No. Um, not a sponsor. But they have different suns. If you want to go in the shop, let's go ahead and go and show that real quick. Okay. Go to shop. All right. Click shop. Okay. Oh. And you want to go to routine. Okay. Sunscreens. Uh, sunscreens. It's always the last thing, just so you know. The one, the second one at the top, very good. That's my, that's the one I use all the time. It's very light. It feels like there's nothing on your face. The only thing is if you are super, super oily, I have a different recommendation. Hit me on Instagram if you have a question. Or on Slack, anywhere. Let me know if you're super oily. I have a different recommendation for you. But that Essence one on the top is very good. Also, the Keep Going Down. The one on the bottom, the Sun Prize one. That one is also really good. Oh, no. it's They actually have it. So it's the Misha all around. That one is the one I recommend. If you are super oily, that one. If you have anything else, if you have combination, you can also use that. The one at the top for anything else. And the Sun Prize one, it's pretty good. It's a little bit more if you're uh, if you're drier, it work better. It's a little bit more moisturizing, but it doesn't give you a white cast. Okay, that's all I got. Those two places, they have what I like. Those are it. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, no, no more. No, I'm done. I've used that sun milk one, and it seems fine. I don't. Because I don't. you don't use it at all. You don't use the bad one, so you don't know what a good one versus yeah, a bad one. Yeah, is. I don't know. Uh, what pen does go in? I wouldn't put it in any particular pens. Mm -mm, no. Um, yeah. Oh, I did get one. Uh, I got two more things at the pen show. Let's talk about pens. I don't know. How do you feel about that? I'm done, yeah. All right, cool. Audrey's, uh, Audrey's face corner is uh, hereby concluded. Um, so I got some of these. Uh, these are Euchre pens. Oh, Y-O-O-K-E-R-S. Right. Euchres. Oh, yes. Um, and what these are... Are, as you can see here, they have like a white tip there. And uh, when you load them up with ink, they take ink like a fountain pen does. So they take cartridges or converters like this. And then they're basically a porous point, um, like 
felt like, marker. Well, it's not felt. It's plastic. Like it's not. It, it's not yeah. fragile. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Like it yeah. doesn't move. Yeah. Um. But uh, anyway, so you get these in lots of different sizes, like 1.0 up to 1.4. Anyway. You got them from John Ghouls? Yeah, I got them from John Ghouls. I was actually That's walking around with my mom and my sister, and uh, <laughs> I'm bad at self promotion. Is uh, what? I'm I'm real bad at that. I don't ask people for stuff. Yes. Uh, you fill your euchres with pilot carbon. How's it working? Cause hmm. um, like mine are kind of like not doing real good right now. Um, so um, uh, anyway, so we were walking around the, the show and we went to the John Gould's table and yeah. uh, I talked to Michael John Gould a little bit. And my mom and my sister were looking at some stuff and then. Um, my sister was like, hey, Michael, have you uh, have you reviewed these? And I was like, no, I haven't. And so Mike said, well, here, take some to review. So I've got these to review from John Ghouls. Um, I've tried two inks in them so far. This one has Organic Studios because I wanted to see if it could handle. Yeah, I was going to say this, that and like a shimmer. Like what happens with that? I'm curious. Yeah. So I wanted to see if how it would handle a super sheener. Yeah. Um, the answer is. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, well, that tells you. The answer is this. Um, nothing. So when I first loaded it up, it actually worked just fine, and it gave me Did lots it? of sheen. Yeah. But now it didn't. How long has it been since? Uh, last been? night at about oh, okay. about two a.m. Um, oh, well. and then this red one, I put the uh, Edelstein uh, Star Ruby dryer, yeah. which is kind of dry. But I was like, well, I don't, I don't know how A these are gonna act. Kind of dry though. And yeah. uh, it. Yeah. Well, this one actually just started working. It wouldn't work oh, really? all day today. Like oh. it worked just fine last night. And then today I was just getting like this, which is not great, but now it seems to be writing fine. So yeah. I think the trick with these is you're going to want to use a wetter ink and store them like tip down. Because I had these sitting tip down, and I think that's actually uh, coerced that one into working, but yeah. this that's one is still... nothing. If you dip so. it in water, does it come right back? I don't know. I don't have any water, so I couldn't tell you. I do, but I've been drinking um, it. Yeah. So. So I'm going to try something real wet in this one and see how it works. And I'm probably going to clean out this one. Yeah, just and just let it sit to the wetter one. Yeah, so. Um, Put it through the ringer. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm putting those through the ringer. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I think, they're, I think they're at least very potentially very cool. Um, just I think they're going to take the right kind of ink and not just anything yeah. is going to work. So. Wider Which I tip th may expected matter. it to, you know. I would, I would have thought, oh well, whatever, it'd be good. Well, this one's a one point two, so it's almost as big as you oh, can wow. get in these. Um, so I think just the super sheener, like just dried out. Oh, that's out. the one with the organics in that one. Yeah, this oh, is Organic okay. Studio Hemingway um, Santiago C or something. Mm -hmm. So it's very sheeny, but it's not. Uh, I don't know. It's not writing today. So we'll see how it goes. I think really, if I just put some. So medium wet something, ones. something thinner yeah. maybe i'll put in some like papier plume or something like those are pretty thin yeah or maybe um yeah. i don't know i'm gonna experiment with them because apparently they clean out very easily so That's you can good. switch inks yeah uh, but i haven't tried yet use some white lightning yeah i was thinking maybe a little white lightning yeah although it's gonna be hard to add to it now but uh yeah um anyway i've only started playing with these like in the last couple of days so i'll uh you know I'll get it figured out, and then I'll do a review on it, and you'll know. Um, this fan is really moving my hair all over my face. Oh, the fan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we have a fan in here because it is 84, it says now. Yeah, it's October, and it's been almost 100. Yeah, so. it's been around 99 the last two or three days. Uh, and this office is always the hottest because of this window. Much and it's hotter. like, like, I'm a little sweaty. It's like 84 in here. Um, so one last thing I got at the show, and then we got some Kino Cunha goodies. And I'm going to bounce because i got stuff to do tonight. And that's this. This is a tactile turn. Uh, crap, what's this thing called? Mm -hmm. What's the name of this thing? This is a... Uh, ah, bolt action short is what this is. Um, they used to be called the slider and the glider, but he's decided to uh, just call them the bolt action and the bolt action short is how they are now. And this is... You're getting snow this week? That's nuts. <laughs> Audrey's getting the. I'm uh, being very sneaky and taking this. Yep. Thank goodness, because I keep trying to drink it and I yep. do not like it. <laughs> I figured you want it out of your way. <laughs> so this one is uh, solid brass and it's 
super pretty. I don't it know. What do you really think? It is really nice. Yeah. I think it's got a great look to it. It yes. hasn't tarnished, which is weird. No, I mean, you have oily hands too. I do. Well, or acidic or whatever mm-hmm. it is that makes things tarnish. And um, like, if you give me a copper pen, I will have that copper pen. Oh, patina it immediately. <laughs> patina it immediately. Like the mules and stuff mm-hmm. are basically black after I have them for like two weeks. So this one doesn't really show any patina yet. Uh, it's got the great uh, tactile turn. Oh, man, this feels so cool. I don't know. How do you like the feel? I think it's nice. Yeah. It's, not, it's smooth. It's not. It looks smooth. At it all. looks smooth, but it's like got enough of a. Of a texture to it. I like the texture, but yeah, it's yeah. not. You're not going to drop It's just nice it. and grippy and not hurty. It's not all. as big as the texture on the gist. Yeah. Like that's no. got pretty big steps. Yeah, this, this is doesn't. very very fine. So, yeah. uh, and then it's got a um, Damascus uh, uh, thumb stud here. And so these are ball points or roller balls or gels or whatever. But they are such a good fidget pen. Like love I don't, Damascus too. Yeah, it's super pretty, right? Yeah. I mean, that's. It's gorgeous. Yep. And he has some that have a Damascus cap up here. And um, I don't remember if there are any with the, the nose cone that are Damascus or not. But this is a very fidgety pen. Like, Yeah, he, he won't let me touch that at no, all. No, you can't have this. So. I, I like to fit. I click a pen, love it. Yep. I will click until I, I just can't. I can't stop. The only thing that I've had is like... For a little bit, I was, I think I got like bit by something right here. Oh, so and so I was using this and this thumb stud was like hitting me in my yeah. bug bite. <laughs> so I was like, wow, this is really uncomfortable. But now as I use it, it's perfectly right. fine. It's just that I have a bug bite. Um, so there you go. And then like you can't even see where the separation is until you start twisting this. Like it oh, yeah. really hides perfectly in that seam. So anyway, that was the other thing that I got. Um, so that's fun. So, I know, not... What did I say this one? This is marked bronze. This isn't bronze. This is brass, I think. Yeah. So, anyway, so there's that. Um, and then we went to Kinokunya and got a whole bunch of stuff. We did. Um, you want to get your stuff out right quick? Sure. So yeah. I hit the I hit the singles. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I love these um, Uniball Signo pins they have with, like, these clicker things. I have a few of these from Jet Pens. And so I got three of them from Kinokunya. They're, like, three bucks a piece. Uh, which is not cheap. Kinokuni is not not no, cost effective. It's not. But then I got home and noticed that two of these are .28 pens, and that is a very, very fine tip. I think it's going to be too fine for me. I'm going to give it a shot, but uh, I don't know. These might be giveaways or something like that. I, Aww. I might just round up my .28s and stuff because it's just the, this one's a .5, and that's what I thought I was getting. Because they have these cups and they're labeled with the with yeah. the point size, and I think some of them are lying, and I didn't check. And I got this one because I've never seen it before. It is a blend. As far as it just says, you actually can't see it. And there it is. It's yes, inscribed. Brad, we'll take those off your hands. What will? Brad. 0.28 is the best size. That's crazy. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a blend. But it's got a really, I really like this mechanism. And this is very, very comfortable sort of. Yes, r- let me see that. It's like, r- yeah, here you go. I'll click it forever. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, it's uh, clicky pen ASMR time, yep. right? Yeah. It's hard to do with these because the, wow. the clip is so long. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's those. And then uh, because I love the Uni style fit, Uniball style fit as a, uh, a multi-pen, they had the refills. And then I found these little single pin guys. Oh, yeah. And these take the same refill that you put in the multi-pens, but just one of them. And it just makes a little skinny pen. And it seems like it'd be good so to put one in. one pen, yeah. Just one. Yeah, to put in a planner or whatever. What's it called? It's called a... Uh, <laughs> it just says holder, yeah. actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I've got a, I've got a pair of these. I got one in brown gel, and I got one in. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a blue jet stream, uh, blue jet stream refill. Jet stream's probably it's one of the very best of the the ballpoint refills. Mm-hmm. So I got a couple yeah. of those, and then Audrey here got a uh, high tech high tech C Coletto. I have one of these as well um, in different colors, but like the cap pops off, then you just load up these little guys. You don't have the pink polka dot one? I don't have a pink polka oh. dot one. Mine is... Um, I tried to get colors you didn't have in different widths. Yeah, so this one's mine. Let's see. Uh, we both got orange. <laughs> well, which size though? Uh, 0.5. Um, That's as big as they go. I don't know if I got 0.5 or 0.4. You did. It's 5. Oh, uh, then she got a 0.4 green, which I don't have. And you got a 0.4 bright blue. That's a different blue than I have. Yeah. And you have 0.5 bright pink. Hot pink. 
Yep, hot pink. And then I got this blue one. I've had this for a while, actually. Yeah. And You got normal colors. Yeah, I got, a, <laughs> I got a blue and a blue-black and an orange and a brown. Because, you know, yeah. why not? Uh, but, yeah, like this bright, these look really nice. These are... Uh, yeah, right. High Tech C is a, a really good it's one. It's a readable pink. Yeah, you know? it's a nice. It's a real bright, readable pink. The blue is good. How's this green? Green is dope. This orange, I already know, is good. Nice yep, bright there's... orange. Yeah, I mean even the browns are really nice. So oh, that is nicer than I thought it'd be. Yeah, it's a really good brown. Yep. It's weird. <laughs> and there's my bright blue, and then I've got this blue black. The only problem for me is that they sometimes these things don't stay down as oh. well as I want them to. But I think I'm just kind of careless with it now. Now of course it's working well, perfectly. Of course. But um, yeah. So anyway, that's the Coletto. And then we found some paper. <laughs> Uh, this is a Kino Kunia paper that we got. I brought it up to him like, look at this and how cute it is. So Kino Kunia has a whole wall of fountain pen friendly notebooks. This is a Doraemon notebook. Doraemon is a cat type robot from the 22nd century. And there it is. In case you didn't know. It's adorable. <laughs> right? Uh, so uh, there it is on the back. Being cute again. Uh, yeah, this is like six bucks, which isn't too bad, I think. The paper is a, a nice white. It's kind of a, I don't know, ivory? A little bit ivory, but it's uh, mostly... Cream? Like, I don't know. Ivory, I think, On this probably. side, it looks more... It's just depending on the lighting. Yeah. She has this little, like, little helicopter hat thing there. Um, yeah. It turns out it's quite fountain pen friendly. I've only written, like, one line in it, but there was cat robot hat. And then on the other side, nothing. No problems at all. This no, paper it's feels real nice. Nice and smooth, yeah. Yeah. So this is cool. Into that. Cat notebook yep what else did we find at that was it at that place right yeah, yeah and, then we, and then it was daiso you want to grab my my favorite thing yes yeah yes i would <laughs> you're being so sneaky i don't know um this is a uh a bookend and i only got one and audrey's like you should get like a bunch of those cat robot is super cute it is yeah. it looks like apica it does but uh it feels a little I, different than apica yeah. And it just says, I am cheese, and it's clearly a cat-type creature stuffing its face with cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Who's not cheese? I am cheese. That's I am I'm what I am. I'm mostly eat. cheese, not yeah. water, cheese. About 80% cheese, yeah. I'd say. Um, so I laughed really hard in the Daiso about this. He so. laughed. I mean, maybe he was super tired, but he laughed super hard because it's funny. Yeah. But I am very... There are lots of different ones. Yeah. So anyway, I got one of these. They're like a $1.50 or dollar something. twenty-five or... Yeah. Something, something like that. that. Everything has a store unless it's marked differently is like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, something like that. So uh, yeah, I only got one. But anyway, you can be cheese. Barry Mori, I think, is another one. Then yeah. Audrey found this paper. Um, it just says craft notebook down on the bottom. And it feels pretty nice. And it was like a dollar or twenty-five yeah, because it yeah. it's Daiso. Yeah. Um, it and feels... it's made in Japan. I ch always check to see, and yep. you know, some of them are made in other places. It was made in Japan. It's got that same kind of notation where you have like the hint of a little graph at the very top on that second line, but it doesn't carry through. Uh, nice gray lines. Seems like it'd be pretty good. So we'll check yeah. that out. Yeah. Uh, we got that. Anything else? <laughs> Audrey got some lychee candy. It's delicious. Here. Audrey <laughs> got a carrot pen. Carrot pen, I have another. But it's different. It's the same but different. I have a fountain pen one. This is a gel pen. This is like a tech tip, like super fine gel point, is what we got here. Yep. Um, like a, so if you're like a high tech C or pen, something. You can go to Daiso and get a dollar something carrot pen. It's actually super nice, too. It writes, it writes super well. Yeah. So, yeah, we should have gotten more. We should have gotten a bunch of these. Ask Yoss. Yoss, if you're out there, get us some more. Yeah, okay. right. Yep. So, anyway, carrot pen is mm -hmm. cute. What else you got? Uh, tell them the story about this. Tell the story. I don't remember the story. Yes, you these do. These are labeled sauce bottles, and they're like these tiny little fillable bottles. And she said something, oh, that's right. I was like, samples. she's yeah. like, oh, I should get these. And I'm like, what for? She's like, for samples. I'm like, what are you going to, you can't get a fountain pen in here. How are you going to, how could this be samples? So 
when I hear samples, I only ever think only ink samples. Only ink. There's no other type of samples <laughs> in the world besides ink samples. Like, why would you bother sampling anything else? So, um, no, she meant, like, face facial care stuff, like she was well, just, just talking like about. Like, just, like, a weekend, or if you're giving uh-huh. to somebody. Yeah, I was going to use those to give. Yeah, and so... Not, not not ink samples. For, or sauce. Although it says there's six milliliters, so like they're a perfectly good size for an yeah, ink sample. Yeah, this look super tiny. Yeah. Like weirdly, like this is only a five five mil sample. Do you think it looks, a converter looks will way fit bigger? There? Maybe it would. Let's open it. Let's see. I'm curious. You love those notebooks? Yeah. It's disgusting how uh, it's disgusting how fountain pen friendly Japanese student paper is. Yeah, it kind of is, right? Yeah. Like, they got all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually six mils. I don't know. It says it is, but it's very small. I don't know. Let's I don't see. know. Like a standard? A standard national fit in that? I'm working on it. Do it now. Pull your dips. I am cheese. Nope. Nope. Like, the opening's so small that you can get, like, the very front part of this in there, but that's it. And it's not tight enough to go like this. That would be no, a disaster. No, that would be a disaster. So, yeah, no, it's not going to be for that. But you can kind of squeeze them, so I guess yeah. your facial care stuff would work. But. Or sauces, I guess. Just a little bit of Tabasco. Just a tiny bit. Scraggles quiet. And then so. the other thing you wanted to open up. Oh. <laughs> yep. So, um, Audrey gets these occasionally. She gets these, like, silly little jiggly... Uh, creatures in her nail polishes or I don't know something yes, like nail polishes. Is that where you get them? Usually, these brands include little things. And these are called um, Squish Yum Jiggly yum. Pals. Uh, what's the yum? Squish Yum. Uh, don't eat them. I would not eat them. Ages four plus. Gently stretch and squeeze your jiggly pal. Do not overstretch. Like this. Anyway, these are like a dollar, and so I thought it was real cute. Um, should, we have... I, should I get our other menagerie for them? I don't know. It's far away. We don't have much time today. Maybe we'll bring them in for a special visit some other time. No, that means no, never. We have a duck, and we have a, uh, a seal, and I think they're adorable. Um, this is like a small bear-type creature, that they're like soft and they're, jiggly or something. They're very jiggly. But it's fun to squish them. Would you say that you're supposed to squeeze and pull? Gently. Gently, yeah. like this? And also a hippopotamus, because I like hippopotamuses. So, they smell like those wax things at the zoo that make. Oh, it don't smell good. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, it's a bad smell, but they are cute. They're so, super cute. You know, anyway, we got some of those because hey, dollar. So yeah, squish yum jiggly pals. You can throw that away now. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, and I got some things that I've already kind of eaten, which are uh, yeah, like I don't these. Have those. What are they like? Little chow mein type snacks or something it's like a sort of like ramen sort of isn't it yeah it's it? like ramen except you can just eat it waxomatics yeah like those at the zoo we've got a bunch of waxomatics somewhere I, I don't remember where they are but we got some so i got two pens unfortunately i left one at work of course as i always do but this is one of my two new sale i actually don't know what this one is so if anyone knows which one this is please let me know it's a 1911 um i purchased it from somebody who calls it uh Poop pink, or pink poop, because the brown, it's brown ends and bright pink, but I don't know what this is from, so. Yeah, it just says, It uh, just says Japan normal, yeah, 1911. Fountain. Yeah, it just has the normal Sailor 1911. And a normal nib. And a so. totally normal nib, yeah. So I'm not sure where but this one came from. But it's pink with brown ends. And the other one I got was the 2018 Valentine's Day bung box, I believe. <laughs> You'll say... Andrew says he knows the original owner, and Becky says, oh, the Franklin pen? <laughs> so, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I bought He's these supposed from, to be here, but it's not here. So. I bought these from our friend Franklin. You know where Franklin got them? Oh, uh, yeah, I know where he got them, but I just don't know. I know who he got them from, but that doesn't mean I know the pen still. Yeah. So, I don't know. If somebody uh, if somebody happens to know what model this is, that Let would be... Let me know. Yeah, That's the one I actually don't know. I just thought... I just loved the color. See, Alexander says, let me check my Instagram collection to ID that 1911. Okay do it i don't know why that got auto modded alexander that's <laughs> like, really weird that was a pretty uh that was a pretty chill like comment honestly yeah. <laughs> so i don't know man um so yeah that i think is all of our things right i think so that's it yeah so that was our haul like the only stuff we really bought was from uh kino Cunha and daiso um i've you got bought a- some cartridges too but i don't know where those went 
Oh yeah, I did. I got some um, some Kaveco red cartridges. Yeah, that's right. These guys. You don't see them all that often. Uh, it was like three bucks. You can get them cheaper. It turns out on jet pens, but hmm. only a little bit cheaper. Um, so like whatever. Actually, I meant to give these to my mom, and I didn't. I forgot. Oh. So. Well. Well, maybe I'll mail them to her. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, mom got some good stuff. Yeah, she did. Uh, it was my mom's birthday in the beginning of September. And so I got uh, a notebook from Valerie for her with, uh, like, some very nice, like, with a very nice floral print. Yep, it uh, was very pretty. It was. It was real pretty. I saw it. I was like, yeah, yeah. that would be a good thing for mom. So yeah. hopefully she doesn't have the same thing I do, or if I get a fancy notebook, I know I'll never write in it. But you don't. I think she will. Uh, and then I got her a Franklin Kristoff pen because she really, really, really liked the new 55. Yep. She got a music nib, too. And she got a separate music nib, yep. Yeah. So, and she got home and she couldn't find one of her Franklin Kristoffs that she wanted to put the nib in. And the other one she can't get open. Like, I don't know, she can't get her blue one, her 20, to open to unscrew at the barrel. So, anyway. the freezer. The freezer, you say? Mm -hmm. Huh. I saw her stick it in the ultrasonic. She thinks maybe some ink got in the threads or something, but hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so she, I told her to send it I'm to us and we'll figure strong. it out. Is the yep. thing. Very strong. Very strong hands. It's the, it's the guns. Beef mitts. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh. So. Hmm. Um, I'm tired. So the stuff I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get from, oh, from right. jet pins right quick. Like, um, I've been using. <laughs> Becky laughed about that Thank, one. You. Thank you. I'm glad. What do I have in my cart? Goodness. Oh, I have both. I have three of these actually. Uh, this isn't even in there yet. Oh, because I can't. So this is the Hobonichi Techo A5 Cousin, which looks like it has all of the different kind of um, all of the layouts basically. So this is a monthly layout, sort of in a very brief fashion for anniversaries and birthdays and stuff. Then they've got a two-page per month. Yeah. And they got a weekly layout by day and hour, and then they have a daily layout. So this is like everything in one, one Depending book. Depending on, yeah, how you want to use it. So I tried using a Hobonichi one time before. But it was the A6, of course, because it was the Techo. And it was too small. Yeah. And so I didn't, it just didn't really work for me. Uh, on the internet's beefy mitts will live forever. I'm glad beefy mitts will live forever. <laughs> I'm not ashamed <laughs> by my laughing of beefy mitts. So, so I'm, trying, I'm thinking about that one. It's out of stock, which means probably just hasn't come in yet, or else I missed it and I'll I never get it. But I think that they already had it, but it's just. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll make more. Um, if not, whatever. That makes my decision easier, That's frankly. That's true. Um, so there's that one, and then uh, the other one. Uh, this is the standard one I usually I, I like to use, which is the um, Jaboon Techo. Uh, I like that there's a lot of it in English. Obviously not this part. Yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Um, I did a video actually on mm -hmm. on the planners I was using, and uh, this is the one that's really it's stuck with me. I've used it for two years now. It's still my favorite. And then uh, they also make the A5 Cousin. And an, a uh, an AVEC set, which is... Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, so two six-month ones, uh, which will keep the size down for when you start, like, using them and they get thicker. Mm -hmm. For some reason, uh, Hobonichis, as you use them, tend to just, like, get thicker. I guess the, the Tomei River, like, absorbs ink and gets fluffier yeah. or something, but... Pink and Brown 1911 is from Sunrise, apparently, says Andrew. I don't know what Sunrise is. I don't know what okay. Sunrise is. No. Is that a store? So... Your reviews will never be the same, beefy mitts. <laughs> Thanks for that, yeah, Audrey. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what we have on Instagram. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right there. Um, yeah, interesting. So, hmm. Cool. Thanks, Alexander. Thank you. That's helpful. So that'll give us a, an easier way to look for it, I guess. Oh, man. It's been a long day, I tell you what. Sure has. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out whether I want to, like, Drop the cash on this AVEX set for the cousin and like get the six month ones, or uh, go with my, my regular ones. So we'll see. The paper's so thin that adding ink makes them thick. Yeah, I, th I mean, they also kind of like wrinkle a little bit too, right? And I think that adds some okay. too. But yeah, my only problem with the Hobonichis is that they don't take gel pens, and I like using gel pens sometimes. Like, gel, for whatever reason, just bleeds right through Hobonichi paper. 
that Tomoe River stuff. So, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll try it out, but that means it's fountain pen and ballpoint only, which is, I mean, probably okay, honestly. I'll live. But, anyway. So, that, that's my, uh, that's, that's my, my conundrum. If you have an opinion on, uh, those, let's see, Pinchelet has special 100th anniversary pro cons? What's up? What's a Procon? Oh, Procyon? Are they Platinums, you mean? Oh. Let's see. Pen Shallot. Did I mean Pen Chalet? I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have a question. All right, ask your question. Is this about face stuff? No. Okay. No, it was just on the screen. Right. So why is that... Spooky, whatever, retro, $65. I don't know. Apparently that's a normal thing. I'm like, since when are retro $65? Because I this one, Creepy cr Scrawlers, $65. And I just don't understand why. Ooh. Yeah, the I school mean, bus really is 45 super cute. And this cop one's 57 Yeah, 65 is pretty high. Uh, let's see. It glows in the dark, but so does my cat pen one, rescue one, and that was like 30 something back you know i don't know matte black trim classic style so yeah glows in the dark is not special again they were not that expensive for limited run that. of 13 13 pieces that's still over a thousand pieces yeah anyway i wanted that and that's just a little too rich for my blood is all yeah because i like my retros use a hobo with sarasa vintage and it works just fine never had an issue with gel Man, I have had all hmm. kinds of gel pens. Oh, what do you think it. about the ink vent calendar? I think that's, that's pretty cool. I think actually. it is too. I don't know if you so talked about it before. I haven't. Um, so this is the Diamine ink vent calendar, which yeah. I think is a really cool idea. Yeah. Now, you, there's no picture on this page? That's too bad. Here we go. It's just going to keep switching. I'll have to keep going back. Yeah. Oh, if I put my cursor over it, it doesn't. So you, it's like an advent calendar, but with uh, little bottles of ink. It's kind of fun. get a full bottle of something at the Ooh, end. Ooh, it's 100 bucks. That's still us. 25 bestowed fountain mini, if any inks. Oh, maybe I was looking on Colt pens because, yeah, when I was shopping, it was a lot cheaper there. Well, it's going to be big to ship. But. Yeah. Well, um, I was just saying that's why I didn't really realize how much it was here. So here are those Procyons that he was talking about. Yeah. yeah this is actually the, that's like the normal line. They just have a dip, bit of printing on them. What's that printing thing? Uh, it says uh, anniversary. Anniversary 2019. Okay. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very expensive idea. Some people say, some gel pens work better with TR than others. Yeah, well, I'll believe that for sure. I guess, yeah. especially since the Sarasa Vintage work, and really, I like the Sarasa Vintage pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I've got some over here in my cup of doom, but I can't reach them at the moment. So, like the idea of the ink advent calendar, we do too. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of my, um, well, nail polish brands, and also I'm into certain. Like wax, certain smelly wax that smells good, but they do advent calendars as well. So I'm glad the hmm. the nail polish or the socks. Ink. There are Jam. socks. There's some for everything. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that the ink brands are starting to. Yeah. So that'd be kind of cool. Think in the box. I People are whining that Pilot didn't release anything affordable for their hundred. So at least Platinum is. Well, that's true. Yeah, they are at least were, doing that. Yeah. Um, and really, the Procyon is a is a perfectly nice pen. Yeah, you gave it a good review. You liked it. Yeah, I've been using one. I yeah. like it. I think it's... I'm not using it at the moment. Yeah, it's on ink, but, it, but... yeah. Very excited for December and the ink vent. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the... Like, the, the printing they put on this is nice. And I'd like to get a, yeah. a different size nib. It's not too big. It's not in a weird place or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get... I'll get a medium nib one. The fine is a little too fine for me, but... Uh, probably, um, yeah. But the medium will be good, I think. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Oh, no. Oh. Man. Could have used plastic bottles. Could have saved quite a bit. Do they not use plastic bottles? Are they using glass bottles in these things? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. It says no facts. Food. There are no facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it just says there are 25 fountain pen inks. Maybe some other site has that. It says, I can't tell they, from that. Yeah, they look like they could be glass. I don't know, mm -hmm. I can't really tell. And they're not charging any more for it? Yeah, they're not charging extra for the yeah. Procyon, which is nice. Yeah. The Procyon goes for 52 bucks. So. And you could still get 10% off from Penchalet. You can get 10% off from me for through Penchalet. Uh, I mean, Use there you code go. LIARBIRD10. I think it still works. 
um l y r e b i r d 10 i think that still works um they they set me up a little a little code for a review a while ago and i think it's still good so. they are glass bottles yeah can you ask me a question very nicely yeah what do you got vincent this is gonna be about it though are they glass i've asked diamond? lots of questions so yeah. everyone else should be able to as well yeah right yeah a bunch of people are saying they're glass bottles so i mean it's kind of classy so i need a new code you know what it is I do need a new code. I don't know what it is, but I need a new code. Oh, beefy mitts. <laughs> yep. Cool. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, mods can go ahead and ban that dude. See ya. What was it? Uh, just uh, some some stuff I don't... Language I, I don't appreciate. Oh. Uh, yep. So, that's cool. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Um, 30 mil bottle is plastic. The small ones are glass. Oh, so the big one is, the big one's plastic. The small one's glass. What? Well, well that'll save some, some room. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever, man. So. All right, all right. Well, folks, it is, uh, 620. Pizza o'clock? Uh, I still gotta go work out. Oh. I mean, you could always, um, uh, go swimming after we eat. No, that's a good way to drown. I thought that was an urban legend. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to try it out. Oh, we got, we got information's here, Audrey. Uh, let's see, Sunrise Trading Co. seems to be the group behind those super glittery ones with the white socks, the Dreamweaver, and Sirius Red and Blue. Yep. Interesting. Look at that. I think you need. Oh man, now you just found more things that Audrey's Could gonna you need. Could you forward those to me or send them to me as well? No, I don't think that's possible. So. Well, Alexander, could you for <laughs> Isn't that the only rule to swimming? What, don't swim right before you do it? Uh, Amazon Japan may still have Hobonichi in stock. Jenny Bick has them here in D.C. as well. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You can't be an ink reviewer and not get that ink calendar. I mean, oh. I guess that is probably, like, look, that's probably what, uh... I could do, like, a little daily, uh... little yeah. daily video. Uh, that could be, be kind of fun. All right, fine. I mean, people are doing the... All right. I added it to my cart. It's October. In. Yeah, I can't. But you draw. don't do that, so maybe this isn't gonna work either, though. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> you have to keep your expectations realistic. <laughs> I, look, I can't draw, but I can open the thing, <laughs> so I think I have that kind of that kind of uh, ability. All right, folks, uh, thanks very much for joining us, a bunch of pushers. You are a bunch of pushers, and it feels weird to only order one thing, so now I have to go shopping. Maybe I need a $65 retro. I might have to go shopping. Um, so you can use your Patreon money for it. Cool, Tony. Um, so for the next 90 months, I'll use your, uh, your dollar. <laughs> thanks, bro. Uh, hey, yeah. do don't shit. I mean, we, he got banned for a little bit, but that's fine. We, we get to keep him. Come on now. Oh, uh, he has to have an empty pen for every day? Oh. Oh. Or you could do the dip. The dip? The dip. I could do the dip. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm only going to use Tony Ginta's uh, Patreon money for that. So <laughs> yep, just, I will say it. thank you to pa Tony. That's what he wants. That's all we're Look, using towards. it's the only thing Tony's ever asked for. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use his... Uh, his you know that? I actually don't know. You might. Uh, every dollar is uh, super appreciated on the Patreon. I was just messing with Tony, uh, but yeah, that'll be good. The dip is cheating. I don't know. You think it is? Mm -hmm. You or have how many days is it? Twenty four. Twenty five. We have twenty five pens that you can fill. I don't know if that's true. How um, many do you have filled right now? Not many. Actually, just these that you see before you. <laughs> hmm. Probably a solid twenty-five. Yeah. Uh, when do the streams usually start on Friday? Well, Avery, um, the streams usually start on Friday, on at four p.m. Eastern. Um, although, like, I don't know, how do y'all feel about five? Because five might be more convenient for me for the next few weeks. Um, in a couple of weeks, that is the twenty-fifth. I won't be able to do a stream. I have a thing that goes, uh, a work thing that goes all day. It's all day. Oh my gosh! It's, what are we it, gonna do? I know. What are we gonna do, people? It's ethics bowl. And uh, so Ethically, I'll be... Ethically, you should be here for the people. Ethically, I don't know. Not many equals many empty pens. This can be filled perfect. Nice. You need to get all new pens yeah. to use. Yeah. Uh, all new pens? Yep. Oof. So, 24 um, new pens. You prefer five? Okay, that's cool. 
Mm. Audrey stream takeover? Yeah, maybe. There's a lot of, like, she doesn't do the tech stuff here, so that's a... I'm not tech unsavvy by any means, but there's a lot of steps. I just have to show you how to do it. It's not too bad. Mm. Um, Nobody wants that. Yeah. What would the utilitarian do? The utilitarian would do the thing that keeps me employed. Um, That's so. True. Wow. <laughs> yeah. West Coast Stream. Uh, You're not one of those bloggers like, I only make $300,000 in Patreon a month. <laughs> well, I'm not that blogger. Yeah. That's true. Um, that seems like enough. It's crazy. Yeah. No, it's only 30000 a month. Is oh, I'm sorry. Or something like that. $30,000 a month. I'm very off. My Look, y'all, it. if you give me $30,000 a month, I will 100%. <laughs> you, he will quit. We'll quit our <laughs> day jobs and you'll be just all day, every day. We'll be having your best friends because we're just going right. to be hanging out with you. That's for yeah. sure. That's it. It's 8 or 9 p.m. Oh, that's 8 or 9 p.m. for you. Yeah, so, um, Avery, I don't know where you are, but on the east coast of the United States, I start at like 4 or 5. So, um, If you're in the Europe... Later in the evening Good or luck. early night. If you're in if you're in Australia, the super AM. So like around um, midnight ish or later, yeah. unfortunately. So uh, yeah, usually four, but I think it's gonna be five for the next few weeks, just because I've got stuff that keeps getting piled on there, school stuff. So yeah. um, plan on five PM on Fridays. Except the for the Floyd 20th. mic is the best mic. I agree. You think? I think so. I don't know. You make more money than I do, so like. Uh... <laughs> I mean, look at these hands. They're just. I know. So e valuable. And ET all. rules the world. Oh, Eastern Time. I agree. It, it is the time zone. Yeah. Uh, just the beginning. Franklin's kept away with by this baby. Yeah, it's gonna mm -hmm. happen a lot. Yeah. What about when DST ends? Oh, daily savings time. Ugh. Oh, that's sh that's probably coming, huh? Oh, when that does happen. Anyway, I don't want to think about it. That's yeah. That's when it gets dark and sad. Like I, I don't like. It's it. already getting dark too early for my too liking. Too early, right? It's almost like it's sun. It's getting towards sunset. It's Sunsets it. Go away, Siri. I don't need you right now. She heard me say her name. Sunsets at seven even, so a half an hour of sun left. So. Yeah. Another four weeks is what we have, Audrey. Oh, uh, and it all goes downhill. I know. So all those places that don't have it, I'm very jealous. Yeah. Really got your hair going in like different directions today. <laughs> really fighting that fan. I am the fan. <laughs> it's too much. We should just put it right here, so it just like makes us look like we're beautiful all just the time. Like, just like. Yes. Fall back is less bad than spring, spring forward. No, it's not. It's not. Just stay this all the yeah, time. Yeah, this. this. I want it as light, yeah. as See, late as possible. I know I've had this discussion before, but like when the time changes this fall, Audrey won't see the house. No, I will not until at all. spring. Yep. yep. So, so that sucks. So sunscreen, sucks. forget about it. It's going to be night at all the time. You'll need it. You'll be yep. indoors with yep. no windows yep. and you'll come home and yep. it'll be dark. It'll be yep. great. So, any who's all referring to the shift. Oh, yeah, the shift is dumb. Just stay here. We don't need a shift. Just Let's just cancel it. So, one of my research cruises, I used to be in science for anyone that doesn't remember. But anyway, one of my research cruises went from Hawaii to New Zealand. No, actually, Australia. And every day, we gained an hour. Oh, yeah. We moved an hour. So, every day, I would just go an hour later, stay up an hour later, and I would be normal so yeah every single day it's a different time zone it's pretty cool yeah yeah old wise tale <laughs> 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 she's not that old y'all time shift <laughs> yes. works for you it's actually dark and you go to sleep at night claire your schedule is super mm. duper weird so like you don't get to make the rules sorry <laughs> sorry that's not you can't do that um <laughs> yours is too weird um she works a, a nutty shift that one uh, or she doesn't ever have to see daylight. But some of us want to be outside. Uh, what was the research trip for? We were never gonna get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm trying to even remember what it was. So, algae is very and plankton is very important in the world's oceans. It fixes a large amount of the oxygen in the atmosphere. For about every one out of four breaths is due to the plankton that we were looking at, and. It just so happens that this certain type of plankton survived in this super hot water in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And so, yeah, since it's ecolog ecologically important, they were trying to study why it would be in this warm water, but you couldn't in the lab ever reproduce that temperature. And really? Put, yep. Huh. And then, so that was the main focus, but everything else, I was looking at virus and everyone was sort of looking at a different part of the food chain or different aspect of it but yeah i was just looking at ecologically important you also had that like you had that like deep sea water collection thing right mm -hmm. yeah, that was like that. super cold stuff wasn't it 
Uh, or high pressure I mean, or once you're yes, yeah, st- super pressurized. If you get so, so low, yeah, you're gonna have. We didn't do any of the deep sea stuff because that, obviously sunlight can only go so far. And the plankton that we looked at were photosynthetic, so it needed sunlight once it gets mm. so low. But we did a few deep casts where. Um, people brought in one of those foam mannequins that you can get. Like the heads. Like, like a, the head. Like a mannequin man- head. Yeah, yeah, the foam ones. And so brought it down to how many, me- like thousands of meters in the ocean. And it came up, like it was a big head. And it came down to like this size after the pressure. I feel like styrofoam cups and styrofoam stuff too. Styrofoam cups it's like, we did. Usually like a styrofoam cup is like somewhere. this big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've got, they're probably with your science yep. stuff. Like I have a whole, in my garage has a whole science. <laughs> yeah. You know stuff that I've collected from all my research yeah. throughout the days. They'll paint it like uh, like kiss makeup on a couple of them. Or yeah, maybe Jeff did. Ki- or something. Yep, yeah. there was kiss makeup on some of those mannequins. So that's very interesting. <laughs> they came up looking like, like shrunken uh, kiss faces. It was good. All right, folks. Now it's six thirty. Now after all that science talk, skincare science. What else am I going to derail this conversation on? Uh, the science I enjoy. Well, okay. Yeah, skincare. Skin science. skincare. My eyes roll back in my head. I just I can't. I get it. Well, it's fine. Sorry. I'm going to be old and wrinkly. Yeah. Well, I'll be there when you get those, you know, that skin cancer cut off your face. Goodness. Goodness. Uh yeah, so Sunscreen dinner, guys, yeah, dinner eventually. Important. First I got to go hit the gym. Then I'll uh then then we'll dinner. Well, dinner. Yep. We will. Pizza Friday? Probably. It always yes. is. Something of that nature. Yeah. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah. See y'all later. Uh, Beefy Mitts out. Beefy Mitts out. (laughs) Audrey. uh, I'm here. But as Mike says, peace out. Say goodbye, Audrey. Bye, Audrey. Peace out. (laughs)